Graphic content ahead. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, I'm Virgil Kelly. I'm a pilot and I've owned this Ison air bike for seven years. Wayne Ison designed this ultralight aircraft in 1995 and it is a delightful airplane to fly. It isn't without its design flaws, however. This is a cautionary tale that shows how less than one dollar of parts can cause catastrophic results. Yes, two washers and four cotter pins could have saved the day. I'm taking off at Mosey's trip just a mile or so from my house. Note my left foot throughout this video. At about 50 foot up, my left foot slips a bit causing my right foot to add too much pressure and the resulting right rudder makes things interesting for a bit. I seem to have it sorted out and start to relax. Due to neuropathy and needing hip replacements, my left foot particularly wants to splay outwards and I'm having trouble feeling the rudder pedal and keeping my foot from sliding off. This is a huge problem as you will see. This flight had two missions. Fly to our house so my lovely wife Paulette can shoot video of some of my flybys and go up to altitude to practice stalls and coordination exercises. Then I would fly around for a bit of fun and do my normal free landings and hangar the airplane. I was hoping to land at the field near my house someday, so these low flybys were testing the viability of that idea. Little did we know, this was the last time Paulette would see me fly the mighty air bike. I gain altitude to a safe height to practice stalls and maneuvers and again you see my left foot nearly slip off the pedal. This airplane just mushes down rather than stalling. It's a very gentle wing. The coordination exercises go well. I still remember how to fly with some finesse. On final approach, again note my left foot just barely hanging on to the pedal. This landing goes fine, and even though I'm a little hot, there's plenty of runway left, so no worries. I'll try to stop by the turn into the hangar on the last landing. There's Bill Mosey. He owns this airport and lets me hangar there. He witnessed what you are about to see. After turning around at the top of the hill, I sort myself out and throttle up. Pay close attention to my left foot. Oh, fuck. Woo! Fuck, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck. God damn it, what the fuck is going on? Well... I just totaled it. Ugh. God damn it. Ugh. Fucking egg. So in conclusion, two washers and four cotter pins would have prevented this. And this. And this. Holes drilled in the ends of the rudder pedals for the cotter pins to hold the washers to keep my feet from sliding off would have prevented me from totaling my airplane and causing injury to myself. 74 cents. I had plans to make this modification, but I hadn't gotten around to it yet. Talk about butterfly effect. Also note the damage to my helmet. A significant softened and indented spot where the yellow paint is was right on top of the bump in the back of my head. I have no doubts it saved my life. Some bruises, 
sore ribs, and a busted knee with a three inch gash with seven stitches isn't so bad. Going from 50 mile per hour to zero in about half a second was quite the ride. I am still alive.